Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? I just wanted to take you through a quick uh, rundown of the gaming rig. It's, uh, I've been using it actually for a little bit now, so let's walk down. I just wanna show you what we've got going on and uh, we'll run through it that way. I know it's kind of messy, unfinished basement. It's a basement GP after all. Um, eventually I'd like some walls, maybe a ceiling. I'd like more lighting down here because to be honest with you, uh, as we walk around and we'll just, I'm not gonna show you everything yet. So this is where I do most of the art that I work on. And there is the sweatshirt I was looking for this morning. So I'm working on a couple of pieces right now. Um, and, and that, so. Uh, Gunner's got his little spot down here too. My Lego collection. If you didn't know I had one, here it is. I've got a lot of Legos. Uh, and boom, here we are with the car. So I want to take you through a quick rig rundown, if that's what you want to call it. The car is together now. It's an ever-evolving project. My, uh, I forget what they call these, Prospect 2s or something. Ken Block shoes that DC made a couple of years ago. Those are a must for at-home racing. Um, the mini is sitting here, and like I said, I want to kind of continue to build up around the car, uh, but I've been using it, and I've been racing for a bit now, so I'll just take you through. Uh, a few things are not done still. I've been meaning to get, like, this trim back on. Uh, I want to clean up along here, potentially fix this. Uh, I did break that in deconstruction, um, but let's show you what we've got under here. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. So, oops, that bangs on there still if I'm not careful. But I got the warranty. So we got the computer here fully running. Um, the Harman Kardon set up right behind it. Sorry, I'm sick if you're wondering. So we've got that. Everything is on ceramic tile. I've heard that it helps with the heat. Probably doesn't help, but whatever. You've got the cables running back through the firewall there. I've tried to sort them as well as I can, but they do need to be cleaned up a little bit. Let's watch for that trim. All right, so cool stuff. Uh, we've got the CHG90 up here, uh, Samsung monitor. Luckily, it basically fits this perfectly as a windshield. Uh, when you're in the car, you notice the gaps even less. I would like to, as I clean this all up, uh, do a bit more of a better mount on that and cut into the dash a little more. Uh, the door is fully operational. Uh, the car feels really solid. Something I'll say is that you can't see the cuts. So if you saw how many pieces I had this car cut into, um, there's only one way of telling that it's cut up other than it's in my basement. Uh, you know, a couple of small little blemishes. Um, and the way that you can tell is actually, if I were to open the back door, which I cannot because it's electronic, it only can be opened from the inside, uh, you can see the cuts right here on the chassis. Other than that, everything is covered by plastic. The car is actually, like, very solid um, in that. So let's just go through just a quick rundown. It's a little bit messy in here. I guess I could have set things up a little nicer. Uh, gaming hat, because... Everybody needs a hat so they can look awesome. I've got a few things in the back, a little bit messy. Um, this is my people are coming over, and I want them to play everything but iRacing wheels. So this is just the cheapo, um, fan, Fanatic, uh, I forget what they call it, CS wheel. I don't know. If you guys pay me to use your stuff, I'll tell people exactly what it is. Um, but it's cheap. And actually, the thing I'd complain about, spend the extra money, get one with a quick release, because this release on here is such a pain. You have to bolt it in. Um, also, you don't get full force feedback with these plastic wheels. So this is like a $100 wheel, probably. Um, and I would describe it as a $100 wheel. Um, got the full RGB keyboard, mouse. Uh, of course, you know... These are from my M3 days, uh, some leather driving gloves. I like to use those because it keeps the uh, steering rim nice. These are the Arctic uh, uh, 
Steelcase series headphones. Um, I use those typically during broadcasts. They work really well, and they have this little toggle switch. Uh, this all just runs back through. Uh, of course, an iPhone charger so that we can be fully charged as we drive. In the future, we are going to hook this e-brake up here. So the e-brake does work. Uh, actually, it does not work, but it will work. Uh, same thing. I'm working on the gauges. This is going to be something that powers up as we go. It just does not yet. So let's walk back around. You can see, maybe you can see the subwoofer back here. Let's go around. I'll show it to you. Um... All right, so just like your normal car, you want to get in the back. That's a blanket so Gunner can sit in here. I don't let him sit up front right now because he jumps on me. Um, big Harman Kardon subwoofer in the back. Uh, behind each of these uh, panels, they, I actually have home theater speakers uh, in here where the normal speakers would be. So we can see that. Down here you have the... Fanatic um, inverted V3 pedals, which they fit basically perfectly. This is tape on here. I just haven't taken it off, but this is a steel mount that we made, and it mounts right up to where the standard steering column would mount. I guess you can see the steel underneath. Um, and then we've got the podium uh, F1 wheel uh, DD1 with the blue carbon, which it's like, who cares? You can't even see it. So that's mounted there. Uh, got the, the wheel. This is the wheel I typically use because I get full force feedback. And it's just got the best feel. Also, because of how low this is, it is a little bit lower than I wanted it to be, but we used uh, factory mounting points. So I'd like this all to be up maybe like an inch, but I do not weld. So I'll have to get someone over here to really like cut and go through that. Um, Logitech camera. I can tell you model numbers here in a minute. I'll have to look them up. And then here is our full gaming experience. So there's our monitor. Uh, currently, let's see. What do we have on here currently for, uh, da, 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 games? You know, the easy way to look is I just go in the Fanta Lab. So, game-wise, I've been playing Dirt Rally F1 2019. Actually, I haven't even played it. It's on there iRacing, Project Cars, uh, I don't have a set of Corsa, yeah, it says not found, so I don't have any of those, so these top ones, plus I have Horizon, so Nikki can play that, uh, we got the newest one, I don't know, I haven't really played it much, I don't even know what it is, four, five, eight, um, Subsport Pedal V3 Minor, the Inverted, but this is a really cool, uh, setup, um, for you to go through and tune everything, so you can actually go through and make major changes to um, your Fanatec stuff, your Fanatec, I call it Fanatec, that's fine, stuff as you go, and you can save profiles for each game that you're playing. Um, of course, right, we have to have the GT3 RS as the background, just the sexiest car. I need a GTR one too, and, uh, and that's it. So we're going to be adding some lights, some walls out here. Um, I'm going to get a couple of different wheels um, in that. But overall, uh, I just wanted to give you kind of a rundown. Full specs on on what equipment's in here in the comments or in the about section below. Uh, check it out. Really excited to kind of like keep showing you guys how everything works in here. I'll get some uh, videos of us playing and continue to join in and, and follow along as I race live, as I learn, as I go through it. Um, if you have ideas for the car, like for example, uh, I really want to put a monster fridge down here so I have like quick access, just open and drink. Um, this is also, I consider this my texting and driving simulator so I can get better at texting and driving and drinking and driving. Um, but no, if you guys have ideas for things inside the car, uh, a lot of people are saying third monitor over here. Uh, I'm not sure how or I would do that, but, you know, I'm getting a lot of ideas from a lot of people, but this is kind of the rig rundown. Wanted to show you what we've got going on down here in the basement. Um, but leave it in the comments below, whatever you guys are thinking for, uh, future plans for the car. 
uh, for the area. If you guys have posters or art or anything you want to put up in here, send them my way. Let me know. Love to put them up. Uh, here's a, a painting I did. That's going to stay. Uh, a painting I did in front of a painting I did, actually. So this is another one. Um, but as we get some walls down here, or at least some temporary stuff, I will hang stuff. I uh, got this really cool Ken Block um, um, uh, Escort RS Cosworth. This is his Cosworth car. Pretty special car, pretty awesome. So I've got that. I've got a lot of like uh, BMW stuff from when I worked for BMW. Some really kind of rare, cool stuff. So anyway, that's the rig. Thank you guys for joining. Uh, stoked that you could be here to kind of look at things with me. And uh, yeah, please leave it in the comments below. Follow, like, share, subscribe. Help me get the channel going, um, you know, and uh, if anybody lives in the area, you guys want to come drive it, let me know. I'll sort it. We can go drive, or you can come drive. The uh, new Mini GP just got some pretty sweet Nürburgring time, so maybe we'll have to do a, a Nürburgring uh, fast lap in this. I don't know. See what we can do. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon.